Hey guys, I'm gonna make a short video about how I pack my um, luggage uh, for a race and uh, for traveling to Europe. And um, I got with me a lot of stuff um, here. You can see there are five quads that I use for um, racing. And I have four here. Four here that I use for practice. And uh, because this time in Europe they don't need LEDs, um, I'm gonna also use these to run GQ as well. So I'm gonna save my uh, really nicely decorated quads uh, with LEDs for the next uh, FAI race that requires LED. Anyways, uh, we've got a lot of stuff in here that um, uh, I'm gonna show you what I uh, put in my bag as well as how I kind of pack everything so we've got um, gears so the this box is basically all my backup stuff um, I've got motors because I'm going to Europe for basically four events two GQs one in Germany one in France and um, two races uh, uh, in those places as well so I'm bringing a little bit more uh, stuff that I than I would uh, for just a single event um, so in this box I have all my uh, new um, parts and this time I'm bringing about I mean 10 8 8 motors um, a couple stacks new stacks a whole bunch of little things like camera lens, uh, motor bells um, I pre-soldered some XT60s, some caps, tape, um, uh, antennas, wires, uh, battery pads so like basically everything in here it's gonna be able to help me build, rebuild a quad from scratch um, however I don't have enough for extra frames so um, I would hope that nine frames the nine frames here that they would be enough for my four events this time um, so what else is here uh, I have a lot of like different all sorts of pouches I have these uh, pouches for clothes box and I have this pouch for my digital gears. Um, so I've got a GoPro. Um, I got a, a hard drive for backing up uh, DVRs or whatnot. It basically backs up your SD card with a uh, click of a button. So I'm trying, gonna try try this out on this trip. Got a Hota. Um, transformer here that gives both an XT60 output as well as a whole lot of uh, USB charging so it's really good for uh, me to use this as like for example like a laptop charger as well as a uh, phone and gears charger and I've got my GoPro uh, got my plugs for Europe um, I would change these out if I go to like uh, Taiwan or uh, Japan and um, but I usually bring with me um, a whole lot of extension cables. So something like this that I use. Um, I actually bought this in Canada. It's like um, a US plug. Um, and I bring cords for my chargers, uh, for my Hoda chargers. Um, these are for Europe or uh, Korea. And I've got the uh, US plugs here as well. Um, because I brought the US extension cord so this actually I would actually use the US plugs for the extension cord just in case for you know view charging uh, you know how events have plugs pretty far away from you usually and um, what else got my MCK Cinewoop here got the DJI goggles so since the last trip I've started carrying my radio in this box and it takes up a lot of space but it helps 
to lighten my uh, backpack because a lot of times you have to carry your backpack for quite a while walking up and down the airport so starting last trip I basically put everything I used to have in my backpack into the luggage so my backpack is super light I bought this pouch for my HD HD Zero goggles um, it fits perfectly and you know if you crunch it it won't touch the antennas so it it's also good if you have the uh, analog bay but you might have to take out the antennas for the analog bay um, but this is perfect you can I, I store this um, cable here and then I have my longer um, antennas here and my other stubbies go here so this pouch takes care of the whole HD Zero goggles and everything that goes with it <coughs> also have my uh, toolkit here and I've shown this on my Instagram um, you can see what's inside and I just bought this new DJI Mini uh, Pro, Mini 4 Pro, yeah, and with the filter, so I could start flying with it. Um, and most importantly, I have this box here that I use to store my quads and props, which are the most important things for the race because props get easily bent. Um, you know, sometimes you just store it with your clothes, but you know, you can't avoid uh, you know things getting crunched um, as you know people throw your luggage around. So what I did is I measured up the width and uh, thickness of my luggage, and I bought this box just so it just fits nicely in this position. And I would basically put my quads in the box like this. So I would put my quads like this in the box and there's enough room here for my props. And I would basically lay my props around like this. And it basically just pops up almost flat perfectly here. And there's as little compression as possible um, that would bend the props here. So this is a perfect solution for putting your quads and uh, protecting your quads and props. And also just for this trip I'm bringing a whole bunch of HD Zero goodies for the participants of the race. And, um, they will be given out in the two races. Hopefully everybody will like them. Um, and I'm about to finish packing everything else. I mean, I'm because I'm bringing so much things this time. I have to bring another luggage this time, and this one is gonna have uh, my other clothes and a couple um, jackets and stuff. And I'm also bringing a whole bunch of these tapes as presents for my friends and new friends who I'll meet. And, uh, I bring medicine for my trip. Um, and I'm gonna bring my laptop as well. I guess that's all. Thank you.